Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about the 4 ramp steering gear and we will talk about the venting procedure in case that we have some air trapped. In my career happened that situation that we have trapped air uh, in the cylinders and was really really unpleasant uh, situation to see and listen first of all uh, I will explain how that can happen and uh, during the sailing and also after maintenance first of all I will describe uh, what situation I have uh, faced so in that point I was apprentice engineer and that was my second voyage with uh, tanker vessels so we get with second engineer to take samples uh, of oil from the steering gear normally the sample of oils will be taken from some valves which is located uh, on the tank here on the top as you can see uh, this is our tank here and there is two tanks number one and number two so this is our cylinder here and there is also some valves here on the top so at the operation when the steering gear was operated the second engineer opened the valve on the top of uh, cylinder here so some of air was trapped inside and some of air was trapped here then so after a while we have loss of steering gear and steering gear was uh, stuck in one position and make a very very loud noise uh, almost it's a screaming remain in this direction of position if I remember properly so to ventilate the air what uh, we must do first of all we switch off the autopilot and we take the control manual and uh, to ventilate the air we need to turn to one or another side port to starboard so if we turn our turning uh, our steering gear here so the valves and the cylinders which will be uh, the valve which will be open and cylinder will be ventilated will be here because the piston will be pressed in this side so we will open our valve here to ventilate this cylinder and also this cylinder will be pressed in that side so we will ventilate also that place after the ventilation and the oil will come out we will close the valves back again and we will reverse our steering gear to the uh, port side so these pistons will be moved on and these pistons will be moved in other direction so we can make our ventilation through this valve which locates here on these cylinders so after the ventilation and after all the air comes out and oil you will see the oil will come out but be very very careful to open slide uh, the valves because they, they can be a big pressure and also try to avoid to keeping your hands there closely because this is hydraulic pressure and in the best situation the ship must be at stock condition because uh, the steering will be uh, on the effect of the sea water conditions also and on the speed of uh, the vessel better to make that in the stock conditions uh, such situations so after ventilate also these cylinders you will be able to close the valves the venting valves and then you must check also the level of 
storage tank of oil here that uh, must be going down that means that the air relieves our cylinder and the oil will fill our cylinders back again so this is from the point of the air that was entered uh, of an accident opening of the valves in our case was second engineer who opened uh, the valves without knowing the proper position of the sample so in most of the ships that I have been we have a clear sample uh, point of all machineries and that's why uh, this will provide an adequate information from the points that the samples must be taken always and compared with the previous one and not must be always changed and uh, take from other points okay uh, another thing after maintenance after a change of the rings if it's uh, necessary or any tank cleaning or cylinder cleaning depends on the maintenance of the steering gear so also the ventilation must be done there so we have covered that thing another thing that every week we must switch off and switch on the other steering gear so they will be uh, working uh, the same working hours or every month to change these machineries also this will help to not overheat the oil through the time because if the oil reach always working in the extreme and hot conditions this will uh, make damage also to the oil and also will have more contamination uh, through the time on the oil check the levels check the temperatures it's really really necessary to monitor your steering gear check also uh, the leakages which most of the leakages comes from here from V parking but uh, as I have experience in my last vessel uh, after even replace of V rings they have the same situation of leaking uh, of the oil but as I have uh, seen and as you can see also here from this image on this uh, on this gap here there is a really really big gap compared with this one here so the proper tightment also which must be equal from all the sides from four points and even if you can measure in six points of the flange must be as much as possible aligned and such jobs must be performed by qualified and some service engineer which are uh, involved in the steering gear industry and not uh, always but by the ship uh, personnel so another test that you can make on the steering gear you can switch off the steering gear and see if your steering gear keeps in the zero degree angle if not there is a necessary adjustment uh, on the steering gear which uh, we have talked about already also all the round points must be greased properly a, a thin layer of grease as you can see I also take some picture of uh, directional valves of uh, the pressure manometers to see what's going on and here we have a pump pilot pressure is going to zero when the pump is stop so the leakages can tell a lot for us uh, and for sure so I, I have not seen steering gear without any leakages that is true some small leakage will be presented always because this is packings and 
in some years let's say if the vessel is 10 year already for sure uh, there will be some small very small leakages pilot pressure zero cylinder pressure zero also when the pump is stopped the cylinder pressures uh, go to zero So this is the share of my story and uh, what we have faced and how to vent uh, the cylinders of steering gear and that's why the tanks is always in the upper position in case that there is a demand of oil by gravity uh, will be filled and always will have a positive pressure to the pump. So, my dear friends, don't forget to check the previous videos. Uh, there is a lot of videos on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.